<laughs> Hello YouTube and what is up? I'm here today with a very special game and this is Call of Duty 4. A look back at, in my opinion, one of the most iconic multiplayer games of the 2000s. Okay, so Call of Duty 4 came out in 2007 for the PC, Xbox 360 and Wii. There were also some spin-off versions, for example, versions that weren't quite accurate to the console version and PC versions, such as the Nintendo DS version. But anyway, this game is coming of age. 2007, that's quite a long time ago now, and the game is nearing a decade on shelves. So, if we go online and take a look at this game, how is it? Is it age? Is the community any different? And most importantly, is it like Call of Duty World at War? And with regard to the last question there, I'm proud to inform you that Call of Duty 4 is not like Call of Duty World at War in any way right now because when I went on Call of Duty World at War on my PlayStation 3, as this game is played on right now that you're seeing on COD 4 on the PS3, Call of Duty World at War is hacked to pieces, that is right. The game is practically unplayable because I spent about an hour on the game on a Friday afternoon and to my surprise there was an abundance of hackers and that divides the community. More, more to the point, the game kicks you out of lobbies if you don't have the map packs and there are three different map packs, all with four or so maps, so the community is quite divided and you have a, a lot of trouble getting into games that has the right maps, never mind a game that isn't hacked. <coughs> but anyway, moving on to Call of Duty 4, or as I should say, moving back, because it came out before Call of Duty World at War. Call of Duty 4 in this day is absolutely fantastic it is one of the it's it's an incredible game because it stood the test of time thus far the game is still as fun as it ever was it's a blast with friends and the community is still soaring i spent about two hours on the game during the weekend i recorded this on so it was on a saturday afternoon and i further played the game on a saturday night and you will not struggle whatsoever getting into a lobby. That is right, this game is so, so loved now that it still has an active community. And for those who love old games, especially old multiplayer games, which can be a pain in the ass to get on because of community splitting, people getting bored. It's such a brilliant game. Just I've spent so many hours on Call of Duty 4 in the past. And it has some excellent memories for me. For example, on the map Crash, whereby there's a crashed helicopter in the middle of the map, I remember having to defend that in a private lobby um, with some friends, and that was a lot of fun. And by that, I mean the crashed helicopter. We also did games like Defend the Hotel, and the hotel's the tall building just beside the crashed helicopter that you can go in and you can go on the roof of. And basically the basic premise behind that was that one person def defends while the other players all try and get in and then conquer the place. From which point the duty of defending the building is passed on to them. It's, it's such a brilliant game, seriously. <laughs> but back to the multiplayer. I played some team deathmatch and I, as I said I had no problem getting into a game on that. The real problem came where I tried to get into the more niche sort of games, for example Headquarters, because I couldn't find a game of Headquarters, which is a real shame, as I used to really love that mode. More, more to the point, it offered me a huge amount of XP when I played it, so that's always a benefit. Also, it kind of mixes the game up. Search and Destroy, I can imagine that's fairly popular still, because that was very popular back in this game's heyday. But other game modes such as Headquarters, Ground War, etc, all those smaller game modes that you don't think of as soon as you think of Call of Duty, you might have trouble getting into them. But as I said guys, please, please, please go back to this game, even if it's just for an hour or two, 
just relive some great memories you once had. But then if you're new to the game, I strongly suggest you pick it up right now because with new consoles out, being the PS4 and the Xbox One, I can imagine in the next couple of years, this game's going to further divide and the community's going to harm. But regardless of that, um, I would still pick it up now if you've never played it, even for the single player, because the single player is phenomenal and it's very movie-like, so that's also a bonus. Not to mention, it's probably one of the better Call of Duty campaigns from the modern offerings out of Modern Warfare 1, 2 and 3. Call of Duty Falls is probably one of the best. But anyway guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Remember to check out the rest of these look back videos. I've got more in the works right now, so if you have a look, they could be out. They might not be out, but it's always worth a look because I'll be looking at other classic games for the PlayStation 3, such as the other Call of Duties. The old GTA game, Grand Theft Auto 4, which even though it doesn't sound old, that game came out in 2008, so that's also coming of age. I'll also be looking at classics, but anyway, thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, and stick around for more videos. I'll see you all next time, so goodbye, and thanks for watching.